Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to take a list of elements and concatenate them all into one giant string. And we're going to do this using the join method. So the easiest way to understand the join method is to first understand the split method. So the split method takes a string and splits it out into a bunch of list elements. We're just going to reverse that process. So first let's create that. So let's say we are working with some data. And we will just say this is data. I know, very creative. But anyways, what we could do is we can say data dot split and pass in some separator. And you can use this as a literal or what you could do is you could use it as a variable. So what we can do is we can say D for delimiter. Don't use DEL, that's a keyword. Tried that, failed. So we're gonna go with D because I don't even know how to spell delimiter. We're just gonna make that a space and then we're going to pass in D to split. And the reason I'm spacing it out like this is because it's gonna be easier when we go to join if we have it all set up this way. So this is gonna return a list. So what we can do is we can print it like so in running it and we get a list with three words in it. If we wanna go the other direction, so we take this list and we assign it to data, how can we convert it to a string? Well, here's what we do. We take the delimiter, D, and then say join, and then pass in the list, data. And running this, we get this is data as a string. And just like you can use a string literal instead of a variable with split, you can also do it with join. It's just a little bit of a weird syntax if you're not used to calling methods on string literals, but it should do the trick running this, and we still get this is data. So we can put whatever we want here. If we want to hyphenate it, we can do it like so. Or if we don't want any spaces at all, we can just leave it empty and then we get one giant word. And that is how to use join. Now, if you have mixed data, let's say we have a number in here, we'll put two numbers in there actually. Well, this is actually not gonna work. And I was trying to figure out how to do this, right? Because I wanted to do it. <laughs> and my first thought was like, oh yeah, this is easy. We just have to wrap this in stir, but that doesn't make any sense because we're actually converting the whole thing to a string. Running this and we definitely do not get what we expect. So what we need to do is we actually need to convert each element with this stir here. And we can use a list comprehension like syntax to do that. So get rid of this here. And instead of saying join data, we're actually gonna iterate through the elements. So for I in data, and then for each I, we're going to convert it to a string. So we just say, parentheses and then str. So that will convert each element to a string and then it works the way we expected. So yeah, this is a completely original solution that I stole off of the internet. And this whole syntax here is known as a generator expression. So when you're using the list comprehension, but without the square brackets, it's known as a generator expression. And it's pretty much the same thing, but instead of creating that entire list in memory, it's just going to allow us to iterate through each element. So it's an iterable, which is what join accepts. If you go back to the beginning here, you can see join takes an iterable. When we use a generator expression, that will work just fine. So if you need to know more about generator expressions, you can read this. However, what we had worked fine and I think that's good for now. So that is how you would concatenate a bunch of elements in a list. You just say for i in data and then convert each element to a string and pass this whole expression to the join method, which is concatenated to a string literal. So it's a little funky, but it, it does the trick. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Now I wanna talk about sorting 2D lists. So stay tuned for that, I'll see you then. 